Helldivers, while we wage war against the bugs and the bots, whispers of an unseen enemy are growing louder. This hidden faction is not the Illuminate. According to internal reports from the Ministry of Truth's special field agents, the Illuminates are already assessing our capabilities and preparing to strike, so we are aware of their presence. As it stands, rumors speak of a fourth faction, one that even the Ministry of Truth is hesitant to acknowledge the existence of. In fact, based on our recent analysis, it could very well be that the members of of this fourth faction are already in our midst. Today we delve into the mystery, uncover the clues, and reveal the secrets that could change the course of this war forever. A hidden fourth faction that has been right under our noses the entire time. In order to see what is on the horizon, we first need to take a look at our current situation. Our numbers have swelled, and our arsenal has never been stronger. The overall improvements made to our weaponry and stratagems have been well received, and the current enlistment numbers show no signs of slowing down. Managed democracy truly is glorious. It would also appear that the bots and bugs have had their capabilities reduced as a result of supply issues for the automatons and inferior genetic material for the bugs. Even the galaxy's worst species suffer from from time to time. But with every surge in our strength, there come whispers of something darker lurking in the shadows. Our victories over the bots and bugs are only half the battle. High Command has reported increased surveillance in sectors previously thought to be under control, and not just from our known enemies. Following the implementation of the Escalation of Freedom initiative, many of our brothers and sisters were deeply dissatisfied with High Command's actions, suggesting their weapons and stratagems had been made less effective by Super Earth. So deep was this dissatisfaction that an entire splinter group of Helldivers known as the Chaos Divers was formed. These Helldivers, dressing in red and adorning themselves with their crimson skull insignia, allege that, because of Super Earth's incompetence or deliberate sabotage, many civilian and Helldiver lives had been unnecessarily ended. In protest, these divers refused to participate in major orders and declined to engage the bots, thus allowing the automatons to inch ever closer towards Super Earth. In essence, the Chaos Divers claim to be pacifists, simply standing aside in order to let Super Earth burn. Based on all of this, it was believed that the Chaos Divers could have been the ominous fourth faction, but all current intelligence points in another direction. Since the introduction of the many improvements to our arsenal on September 17th, it would appear that many Chaos Divers are either AWOL or simply no longer active. So what is the actual state of the Chaos Divers? Have they disbanded, or are they now simply rebels without a cause? Analysis is still pending, but any threat they posed seems to have dissipated, for now at least. Whatever the truth, the emergence of the Chaos Divers is indeed telling, and it's safe to say they are not the only faction or sub-faction within the Helldiver Corps or even the Federation as a whole. Yes, the brighter the flames of freedom burn, the darker the shadows they cast. Broadly speaking, we have bot and bug sympathizers, trolls, the extremely loathsome griefers, and of course, the Chaos Divers, though their current status is unknown. The Ministry of Truth has also been alerted to the existence of the so-called Illuminari that seem to believe the unholy Illuminates are superior to their fellow human beings. Much like other sympathizers, the Illuminari are clearly demented and have forgotten about the many crimes of the Squith that were committed throughout the course of the First Galactic War. However, from the little intel the Ministry of Truth has gathered at this time, the Illuminari are a religious cult that actually worship the Illuminate and likely commit unspeakable acts in their name. At this point, the whereabouts of the Illuminari are unknown, but it is believed that groups are scattered across the many planets of the Federation and carrying out their evil plans right under our noses. Rest assured though, Helldivers, that once these traitors are found, they will be rigorously questioned and their presence will be extinguished from the universe. Even with all the advances we are making in the Galactic War and improvements to our weaponry, it seems new traitor factions and groups spring up on a daily basis. So what exactly does this mean for the future? And will the Ministry of Truth be able to contain the rise of traitor groups within the Federation? At this point, the existence of a fourth faction is nothing more than a hypothetical for most Helldivers and even for many in High Command. Naturally, there are many citizens and soldiers in the SEAA who have hazarded a few guesses as to who or what might appear and challenge our supremacy. From an examination of evidence on Super Reddit, it would appear most respondents do not believe a fourth faction will ever appear. That said, one jokingly mentions the idea of demonic zombie dinosaurs with guns from space, which, while ridiculous sounding, the Ministry of Truth isn't willing to fully 
we rule out at this time. More interesting and better conceptualized though, another Helldiver on a different thread has proposed the existence of apes that harness antiquated Federation technology and engage almost exclusively in close range and melee combat. Of course this would imply some kind of anomalous rift in the space-time continuum similar to that seen in ancient movies such as Planet of the Apes, but as the super editor explains, it would have to do with Super Earth experimenting on primates in the far reaches of the galaxy. Unfortunately, based on the idea that Super Earth would be behind the creation of such a faction, this super editor is in fact guilty of treason. The Ministry of Truth is currently working to determine the whereabouts of this individual so that they can be apprehended and re-educated accordingly. Another theory held by a few Helldivers is that some kind of supernatural force exists on one or more worlds in the empty sectors of the galaxy. In other words, there is the notion that there are actual demonic forces lying in wait, preparing themselves to corrupt the SEAF and annihilate the Federation. There are instances of some Helldivers who have claimed to hear the voices of Chaos Gods and seen terrible things, but upon further examinations from super psychiatrists, they have all been found to be suffering from PTSD and or schizophrenia. While we do appreciate the imaginings and theories of many Helldivers, keep in mind that some thoughts are wholly undemocratic and may result in being driven insane, arrested or even executed for treason. The reality is that there are many wild theories surrounding a fourth faction. From those we just mentioned to space elves and space zombies to space dwarves, according to many of our soldiers, there really is no way of knowing what other threat or threats may be lurking in the darkness of space. But in all honesty, a fourth faction is likely closer to home than we think, and it all goes back to the traitor groups we mentioned earlier on. The Ministry of Truth's greatest fear at this point is that the fourth faction may be very much human and beginning to rise up even as we speak. It is possible that the chaos divers have disbanded entirely, but what if even some of these Helldivers join up with other dissidents to form a coalition against Super Earth? This is in fact a scenario that could very well come to pass sooner or later. There is little doubt that there has been a great deal of animosity towards Super Earth and managed democracy, and it certainly hasn't disappeared. And it is not only the Ministry of Truth that suspects a fourth human faction may come into play. Indeed, numerous Helldivers on Super Edit have expressed concerns over the potential existence of a rebel group and even suggested that the attack may not come from the empty sector, but on Super Earth itself. Whether you are aware or not, an investigation has been underway to find out exactly what happened to our arsenal once the Escalation of Freedom initiative was put into effect. Based on initial findings, it would appear that the Chaos Divers were not entirely wrong with their suspicions. However, their allegation that it was Super Earth High Command as a whole that was behind the inferior weapons is fundamentally incorrect. According to the Ministry of Truth, there is a great deal of evidence that shows that certain members of Super Earth's leadership worked to undermine the war effort and drum up dissidents within the SCAF. This includes authorizing changes to weapon parts at the last minute, changing super suppliers, reallocating budgets, and rewriting certain protocols. In fact, a super audit is pending from Super Earth Revenue Services, or SERS, as it would appear that large quantities of super credits have gone missing. The assumption is that this money has been directed elsewhere and being used to finance what we can only surmise is undemocratic activities. What is clear is that an as yet unidentified group very much wants wanted the Chaos Divers to form. They simply didn't count on them choosing pacifism instead of outright bloody retribution. Hell Divers, as the old saying goes, there are no coincidences. There is no doubt that you were indeed betrayed, and even if everyone in Super Earth High Command wasn't directly involved in this betrayal, they still failed to prevent this reality from coming to pass. Although the September 17th update has improved our arsenal and brought many divers back to the front lines, the damage to the Federation's command structure has been done. And the fear is that, because this act of sabotage failed, Failed, those who hate managed democracy may take even more drastic measures to achieve their evil objectives. And if those funds have been stolen and redirected, and if they are being used for what the Ministry of Truth believes they are being used for, then the time to prepare is right now. Inevitably, an uprising or attack could conceivably happen at any point, but it is the Ministry of Truth's belief that these dissidents are biding their time for now. The fact of the matter is that, even though our enemies are also the enemies of the traitors, this does not mean they will not use them to their advantage. Put more simply, with the Illuminates seemingly already present on certain worlds conducting surveys, it would appear that they are indeed preparing to return. So in light of the many improvements to our arsenal and morale being increased, along with the arrival of the Illuminates in the not-too-distant future, the Ministry of Science believes 
believes that, at present, the chances of a rebel uprising currently stands at 26.4%. This probability has been calculated based on existing data and is subject to change at any given interval should new data or information become available. But probability aside, several scenarios for an uprising have been taken into consideration. The first is that a rebellion begins right here on Super Earth. The assumption is that the various heads of the Federation's ministries would be targeted in an attempt to overthrow the government and end managed democracy's benevolent reign. However, given the number of loyalist Helldivers that are active and that our elite security forces are the greatest in the galaxy, the belief is that even in a worst case scenario, a coup or uprising like this would be ended very quickly. The second scenario is that certain planets on or near the bottom bug fronts would fall into the hands of a well-organized and strongly backed rebel group. It is likely that this would happen soon after the Illuminates launched a major assault so as to maximize on our vulnerability, but it could also occur earlier during a specific major order. This means that, while fighting one or more of our enemy factions, we would also have to deal with rebel Helldivers attempting to kill us. Of course the rebel Helldivers would still be fighting our enemies, so we could use their own tactics against them to gain the upper hand. While it is still unlikely at this stage, this particular scenario is far more plausible than the first, so protocols are being put into place to prevent rebel Helldivers from being able to break away and organize themselves accordingly. The third and final scenario currently being considered, and which may be the most likely of all, is that, while we are preoccupied with a major attack, a number of super destroyers in our fleet would break away to claim or take over worlds in the southwest galactic quadrant. This means that we will have our fighting forces significantly undermined and will be too busy defending against our enemies to pursue or deal with the rebels. Those defecting would then be able to lay claim to worlds and establish a power base on one or more of them, thus positioning themselves as enemies of the Federation. As it stands, the Ministry of Truth believes this particular scenario to be the most likely as any opportunity to crush defectors would be nullified by our vulnerability in the galactic war. Helldivers, there is no need to panic. However, according to classified reports, encrypted communications have been intercepted in the void between the front lines. Transmissions that don't match any known enemy code. Whoever they are, they're watching us, studying our tactics, our movements, and maybe even our weaknesses. Some say this fourth faction is already among us, hidden in plain sight. Not just another alien threat, but a force that could be one of our own. Perhaps disgruntled elements within our ranks, disillusioned with Super Earth's benevolence, or even an ancient enemy we thought we'd left behind. Imagine the worst case scenario. Helldivers, once loyal, now swayed by promises of power or vengeance. These so-called phantom agents, if they exist at all, would have access to our most classified data, our most sensitive technologies. They could be undermining our operations as we speak, planting seeds of discord and chaos. The Ministry of Truth is working tirelessly to root out these traitors, but we need to stay vigilant, Helldivers. The true nature of this hidden threat remains unclear, but one thing is certain. They are real, they are dangerous, and they are preparing for something big. We've seen what happens when we underestimate our enemies. We will not make that mistake again. Keep your eyes open and your weapons ready, soldiers, because this war is far from over. If they are among us, if they think they can divide us, they will fail. For Super Earth, for managed democracy, we will uncover the truth behind this hidden fourth faction and crush them, no matter the cost. The shadows may hide their faces, but they cannot hide forever. Stay frosty, Helldivers. Freedom and democracy are counting counting on you. This concludes this broadcast from the SES. The intel shared with you here is only authorized for trusted members of Super Earth's armed forces, so keep that in mind, soldiers. But what about you brave troops? Do you believe a rebellion threatens to destabilize the Federation now or in the future? Or do you think some other force or as yet unseen faction will catch us off guard? Be sure to let us know in the comments section. Finally, what other intel or topic would you Helldivers like us to explore in an upcoming broadcast? Also be sure to leave your suggestions down below. That concludes this official broadcast. On behalf of the many ministries of Super Earth, this is the SES signing off.